because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little game. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. And... For more than two decades, New York-based... Oh, God, jeez! Can you believe these people? Mr. Yates? I think the whole world it's is Aaron, their playground. Sir, from the firm. Don't let him get I came as quickly as I could. Let's just take yes, sir, I have the files. Fine. Sorry it took right. so long, but I had to access our remote server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. I'm gonna have to search you if you want to pass. You can leave that here. You need to take it with you. This will be over in no time. Okay, let's go, man. Thank you. Ford Jr. Don Yates is expecting me. Okay, right this way, Mr. Ford. If Mr. Yates, your employer and one of the world's most powerful attorneys, feels like inviting a group of employees to a small get together in his wine cellar during his own retirement party, what? You look like a lawyer, all right. You got that. Killer instinct. It's a gift.
can set up your shop in here. You can set up your shop in here. Hey, how you doing? All right. You're on the clock, Aaron. Dazzle me. What do we got on Burnwood? She's an orphan. Parents killed by one of our clients. Blue Seed Pharmaceuticals. The experience taught her to seek justice outside the system. Would you like me to go through her records? They're quite extensive. Well, somebody did their homework. No, just her involvement in the 1% killings. Starting with our clients. Details, please. The gorier, the better. Well, here's one that might interest you. Janus, a retired KGB spy master, is eliminated in his adopted hometown. arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign in with the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. Spoils a party like your guests inexplicably dropping dead. for a cabinet. You're an adult. You know your limit. What? Hey! 
who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Don't do this! Senor, may I recommend the House Cabernet Sauvignon? Fine. Here. Couple of old money scions. Hello there. Hello there. And welcome to the Yates Wine. Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate from here. Run one of our interrogation labs. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's the ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. As a boy, the Dow is try and bring him back in one piece. Don't go and see if I get my beef. That was a bit rude. Yes, yes, it was. Back in the day, when the Vargas. What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Gates wanted you to give them grand tour. Remember? If I don't have boys for him, he just do the main thing and socialize them. Only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided to take off his rifle. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste from one. If Yez doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Mm. Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife.
That's for lucky number 43. Oh, shut up, your smog beast, sir. Shit, you come in a way. Gently, gently. Okay, mm -hmm. I got it. Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Watch him. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Thorough now. Will do. Yo. Hello, wine lover. Hello. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mm. mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So, how do you like up, Argentina? Yo. Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on the steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, a trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack-of-all-trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer, secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, if 
before we move on. I have a question. It's perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this freezer? This is an industrial cold storage unit where we keep our excess grape stock to prevent decay. It easily reaches temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Trust me, you don't want to stay in here for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no doorknob on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission if you ask me. Probably soundproof too. And good luck getting a phone signal. Such imaginations you have. But there really is no need to worry. Why? We haven't had an accident since Mrs. Gates' dog was run over by a great picker. Any further questions? Ask away. I got all I need. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Black? Oh, it's all very inspiring. One making is a drum. Sure, sure. Everyone talks about Let's continue to the barrel room. Follow me. All the constant tables make it real. Enter the destiny. Yo, man. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Hey, how are you? It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. 
Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent.